Hey guys, welcome to this week's track guide at Donington on the GP layout. A fun little track with a couple of blind corners, but not as bad as the blind corners of VAR. This track uh, takes a little bit of getting used to and some practice, so let's get straight into it. So first up guys, track conditions. Track is currently 29 degrees. Date and time set to what the official sessions are going to be set to next week. And on to the setup, using my usual setup here. 54% brake bias, plus 5 on the SPO, minimum tyre pressures all round. 8 on the anti vulva 7.9 litres of fuel for qualifying, and 11.8 litres of fuel for the race. As always guys, the B-Lap, O-Lap, and setup files will be on my Discord. There's an invite link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, please remember to hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please remember to subscribe as well. On to the guide then. Now, not my quickest lap in the world, but the lap I'm going to show you is a 144.137. I'm sure there's another couple of tents to be found and I'll explain throughout the lap uh, where we're on corners I think I can gain extra time by cutting them better or just taking a better line through them. Okay, coming across the start finish line then, coming down towards turn one, fourth gear. Now, as we come up towards turn one, you will see me pull into the pit lane here to really open up this corner a little bit more. Um... Well, you got to be. You can pull over onto here, and it is the quickest way to get around turn one, as you're obviously opening it up. You got to be careful though, because there is a slowdown. So if you cut too much into this pit lane, you will get a you will get a slowdown. So if you practice it, you will know where the slowdown is. Um, so you can do it. Just be a little bit careful about doing it. Okay, as we come up to the corner, we're sort of when we get halfway in between here is when we're going to get on the brakes. And we're going to go down to second gear here as we turn the as we turn the car in. Again, there's a you can take this corner in third, and I normally like to stay in the higher gears, but in this particular instance, I'm going down into second gear. But if you want to practice it in third, I'm sure this corner is perfectly t capable of taking it in third. And I'm pretty sure I did take it all of last season in third as well. It depends if you get enough rotation through the car to not get an off track on the exit here. If you don't get enough rotation, then drop it a second and you can get away that way. If you do get the car rotated in properly, you can just keep it in third all the way through. But give it a practice. Depends on your driving style. Um, as you see, I view second through that corner, but uh, I will probably use a mix of both throughout the week. Coming down here and it's flat out, up in the fourth gear, cut that corner, cut this corner. Now coming down here, we're going to hit this corner here and we're going to go up the fifth gear. Now we're going to try as hard as you possibly can to keep the car on the left hand side of the track. I re... This is one of the corners that I struggle... I don't struggle to keep it on my left, but I actually have to think about keeping the car. Because as you go around this left hand corner, here... The car is going to want to drift out to the right hand side, but it is really important to keep the car as far over to this right hand side as you possibly can. As we come up towards this next corner, as you can see, we're dropping it, dropping it to fourth gear. Figure the cockpit here. So as we come up, as just as we take this bend here, is when we're going to tap the brakes and we're going to drop it down into fourth. Just as we go past it, drop it into fourth, keeping the car. As much to the left hand side again as you possibly can. You can even use a little bit of curb here. Turning the car in, as you can see, I pretty much coast on the uh, as you can see, I pretty much coast on the entry to the corner. And then as soon as I feel comfortable, I then get back on the power again. You'll see from the hot lap, um I get a little bit slidey through here, which isn't too bad. But you can definitely take cut a little bit more of this corner than I have done here. Careful on the exit. Um, if you get your tyres, rear tyres, this is okay. But if you get your tyres too much on this grass, then the back end will get away from you and you'll spend and you'll end up in, these, uh, in this wall over here. Just be really careful of that, especially on cold tyres. Not too bad on warm tyres, but um, if you do go too wide on this exit, you are going to die. <laughs> Cut this corner here on the left. Flat out, easy enough. We're going to stay in fourth gear, all the way up here. Another car drift to the right hand side. Bring it back to the left hand side. 
cut this corner again this is another corner where we're going to keep it as far on the left hand side as we can just as we come over past this corner uh trigger the cockpit just as we come past it when we tap the brakes down in the third gear turn the car in again this is another corner i kind of coast through the entry you can see from here and i kind of swing the car around uh if we go back chase you can see you can see my line through the corner so i'm pretty much far uh, from this point here i'm pretty much following the corner all the way around you can definitely take more corner than this but you get you can run across this uh this exit here will give you a better exit again probably lost another half a tenth here for me or so again on the exit use all of this curve on the exit you can uh use a little bit of this outside bit here as well but again, be a little bit careful as you come towards because it can get a little bit slippery, especially on cold tyres. Okay, coming up towards the first blind corner. Takes a bit of getting used to and a lot of practice through here to get it right. But we're going to stay in fourth gear. Just as the... So the, car, the hill is going uphill here. And then just as the hill starts to rise up again here, I'm pretty sure... You guys, it's not the easiest thing this not the easiest thing to see, but it's just as the hill starts to rise up again is when we're gonna start breaking. So as the hill rises up, fourth gear, we're gonna take this corner in third, kit quick tap of the brakes, turn the car in. You can run across this little dirt bit but here. Um probably would have cost you uh uh probably would have cost me even half a tenth or so, but not not too bad. The important thing about this corner is really get back on the back on the throttle early. You can see I'm back up to 89% here if I could go in and go 100%. As early as you possibly can and then just keep it pinned because it's quite a long straight after this corner. So this corner, even though it's blind, it's really important to get it right and really important to get back on the power early so you don't lose too much time on the next straight. I just show you this again. I go to the cockpit, you'll see as we come up towards the corner, the hill starts to rise again just as we go past it. Off the accelerator, on the tap the brakes, down the third, turn the car in. As you can see from this, it's quite a blind corner and it takes a bit of getting used to, but once you're through it, keep the throttle pinned 100% all the way through. Can run a bit wider, you can carry some more speed through this corner here, and you can run a bit wider out of here but as long as you're in the middle of the track and the most important thing is to keep it at 100% throttle okay coming down towards this next straight um as you can see i'm going to get on the curb here and i'm going to use all of the track that i possibly can to this left hand chicane now it is it is a really fast chicane you really need to carry as much speed through here as possible so we're in chase. Uh, if I go to the cockpit, as we come up, as the car, as the hill starts to drop down, here is when we're going to hit the brakes. We're going to drop it down into the third gear, turn in. So as we come towards this board, so we're in third gear, we're on 54% of the brakes here. Turn in as we come across this board. Now you're going to run across this first corner. And then you're going to run straight through these bollards here. Don't worry about them. You can run straight through them. I know they're a little bit off, but then because you think, oh, I'm not going to be able to drive through that, but you can drive straight through it. You can't really take much more curb than this um, because you will get an off track. But you really, they get the fastest pace through this corner and the best time through this corner. You really need to um, eat as much curb as you possibly can through here. Even more so, eat some more curb on that one, especially on the exit. You see, it's probably a little bit too much. As you can see, I get a little bit loose here, and I have to counter steer to the left to keep the car straight. Now, this on the hot lap, you will see from the delta on the hot lap, actually costs me a tenth and a half by the time I get to the next corner. This is why my optimal was like a 43.8 or something, but uh, this lap was only a 43, uh, 44 one even. Probably mostly because I messed this corner up because I got too slidey to it. It doesn't look like much, but it is enough to cost you that extra time. 
Again, all about practice. I would have gone back and done another. I did this hot lap I did earlier in the week, and I didn't have time to go back and do another lap, but it was good enough to show you guys. But really early, get back on the power seat, too slidey. You can use all of this road and all of this curve on the exit if you have to. I just want to show this corner at full pace because it it really is important to carry as much speed through here as you can. So down down the hill, fourth, third, turn the car in, eat that curb, straight through the bollards there. Bit slidey on the exit for me. Obviously you don't want that, but uh And it's what cost me time. Take some practice, but you really need to carry a load of speed through there. Okay, coming down towards this hairpin, quite a tricky hairpin as it's downhill. You're going to see me get on the curb here. As we start to drop, as the hill drops away from us a little bit more, is when we're going to go down the third gear. Quite a hard braking zone, you can see how hard I'm braking here. I go to about 70% braking, and we're going to go all the way down in the first gear. Turn in the car in. There's a couple of ways to take this. Take this. I kind of turn in and then uh, you can see the car here. I kind of turn it in. You can go a little bit wider and then get a really late apex if you want to. I I am gone for the such a. I, I gone for the late apex. But you can go a little bit wider on the entry and then really get that good drive out on the exit. Then let me just show you that again. As we come down towards it, fourth gear. Down on the brakes quite hard all the way to first gear. Turn the car in towards the apex. We're gonna miss the apex here, and then we're gonna bring the car in a little bit tighter. We're gonna get back on the power. See, back on the power to 100%, about halfway through the corner. Hit the apex on the exit, and then use all the track on the exit and the way down towards the next corner. Up in the second, up in the third. I'm pretty sure on this lap I keep it in third. The car is going to be screaming you to go up the fourth. I don't really see much point in going up the fourth. It's not going to gain you a whole load of time. Then it's an extra downshift you need to worry about. So I don't know whether I'm lazy, but I just keep it in third here. Seems to be easier for me. Okay, this is the last corner on the track. It's a hairpin and it's blind. <laughs> but once you get used to it, again, there's quite... Um, an easy turn in and brake marker, which is the end of this curb here. I go to the cockpit. You will see I'm in third gear. And as we come towards the end of this curb, just before it is when we're going to get on the brakes. Off the accelerate on the brakes about 50%, while also turning the car in. We're going to bring the car down in the sit. No, we're in second, and we're going to bring the car down in the first gear. Turn in the car in. Again, this is the same thing as the last hairpin. If you want to run a bit wider and take a really late apex and get a good run across the line, you can. This is the way I like to do it, though. You've just got to be a little bit careful. And when you turn the car in, um, the car can get a bit loose because of the camera on the road. As you can see, uh, as we go over this little hump here, the camera on the road kind of runs away from you. So the car can get a little bit slidey, especially on the cold tyres. So bear that in mind. But we're going to be in first gear. We're not going to. We're going to hit the apex just as it starts to tighten. We're going to run it until we feel comfortable to get back to 100% power, and then drift towards the outside of the track and down and across the start finish line. There we have it, then, guys. That's it for the track aid for this week. I think we've got one week left of the season next week as well again thank you all for watching guys if this video helps you out please remember to hit the like button if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe as well other than that i will see you next week thanks for watching guys catch you later